Today I will show you how to run Windows 11 23H2 version in a virtual machine. The fact is, many people want to try the new Windows 11 without actually installing it on a laptop or PC. And you know what? Such an opportunity has existed for a long time and I hope this video will be helpful for you. So let's get it started. But wait, I almost forgot about our sponsors. 4D Dick Software Black Friday deal is live. Limited offer. You can get a 60% off one month plan on 4D Dick data recovery, file repair, or duplicate file deleter. Moreover, by using this special coupon, you can get 30% off on a one year plan. Don't miss a chance to win a $100 Amazon shopping cart in a lucky draw. For this, you need to subscribe to one of these social media platforms and click on the start button. Everything is very simple. I wish you the best of luck. And here we go. As you can see, we are in Windows 10. So first of all, we need to download a virtual machine. In our case, we will download VMware. So open your browser. For example, I will open Microsoft Edge browser. Then you need to type next. VMware download windows and press enter now you need to scroll down a little bit until you will see a download vmware workstation player link i will leave in the video description click here on this page one more time we need to scroll down until you will see try workstation player for windows also you can try it for linux click download now Downloading process begin. If you take a close look, you may see that this utility takes 540 megabytes, and in my opinion, it's not so large. After you successfully downloaded VMware Player on your laptop or PC, you can open it in folder. Just click here. Now we can close the browser, and of course, now we need to install this application. Everything is very simple. Double click on it. Now you need to click on next. Check this option. Click here, check all of these boxes, click next. Now you need to agree with all terms and conditions. As you can see, it will check for the latest updates, click next. Now it will depend on you whether you want to see it in the startup menu. For example, I will uncheck this option and click next. Install. Literally, this process may take from few seconds to few minutes. It will depend on your hardware. I succeed, now we can click on finish. And here you may see a message that it is necessary to restart your machine. So click on yes and your laptop or PC will automatically restart. Laptop successfully restarted. Now we need to open browser and this time we need to type next. Windows 11 download. Press enter. Then you will see download Windows 11 Microsoft.com, a link I will leave in the video description. Click on it. Finally, we are on the Microsoft official website. You may notice that we have 23H2, which is the latest version of Windows 11 with the latest updates. Now we need to scroll down a little bit until you will see a download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. Click here on select download and select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO. Scroll down one more time and click download now. Then you can click here and select the suitable language. For the example, I will select English United States, but you can select the language that will be suitable for you. Click confirm. Now we have an opportunity to download Windows 11 English. In my case, click on 64-bit download and it will automatically download Windows 11 on your laptop or PC. If you take a close look, you may notice that file takes 6.2 gigabytes of storage and it's much larger than the previous 22H2 version. Now you need to be patient and take your time until ISO will be downloaded on your laptop or PC. My friends, I succeed. We have Windows 11 23H2 ISO. Now we can close this window and finally run the utility. Double click on it. Today we're going to use it for free. So click here, continue and select finish. Now I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Firstly, we need to create a new virtual machine. So click here. Then we need to select our ISO. So I will click here, click on the browse 
and we will navigate to the place where we saved Windows 11. In my case, I will navigate to Downloads. Here it is Windows 11. Click Open, then click on Next. If you wish, you can leave everything by default. But if you want to change location of virtual machine, in our case Windows 11, you can click here and for example, select E or D drive. Important to know, if you will select C drive, then it will use space from a C drive. And if you will select E or D drive, in this situation, it will use space from D or E drive, obviously. In my case, I have only a C drive, so I will leave everything by default. Click next. In this window, you need to create a password, but don't worry, in most cases, you will not use it again. But of course, it will be better if you will remember it. After creating a password, you need to click on next. In this window, I recommend to select store virtual disk as a single file and you need to allocate space for Windows 11. As you can see, the recommended size for Windows 11 x64 is 64 gigabytes. That's hilarious because at the moment I'm running Windows 10 from a virtual machine and I also have only 64 gigabytes of space, so I need to allocate less space. For example, I will try to allocate 30 gigabytes. I hope it will work, but if you have more space, of course, I recommend to allocate at least 64 gigabytes. Then you need to click on next. And of course, after all this process, I recommend to click on customize hardware and we can tweak some options here. For the example, you can allocate 4 gigabytes of RAM. If you want to allocate less or more, you can manually type how many megabytes do you want to allocate. And here we can allocate the number of the processors. If you have a multi-core powerful processor, a Ryzen or Intel, of course, you can allocate more cores. It will all depend on you. But believe it or not, two cores will be enough to review Windows 11 features. After hold this process, click on close. If this box will be checked, it will automatically launch the virtual machine Windows 11 after we clicked on finish. My friends, unfortunately, I wasn't able to run the virtual machine in a virtual machine. For some reason, it doesn't work, so I closed the virtual machine and just installed it on my laptop. I almost allocated the similar specifications. For the example, you may see 4 gigabytes of RAM and 2 cores. The particular difference here is only that here I allocated 64 gigabytes of storage. As I previously said, I think it will be more than enough. Now I will close this window and let's run the virtual machine. You just need to click on play virtual machine. Click OK. Now you need to press some button. For the example, I press the spacebar. In this window, I will click next, install now, select I don't have a product key. For example, I will select Windows 11 Pro, click here, check this option. Now you can allocate space for a virtual machine, so it's not necessary to create a different partitions. I will click next. As you can see, the virtual machine restarted and now we will be able to proceed to the next stage. Now select your region or country, click on yes, select keyboard layout, click here. Now you need to sign into your Microsoft account, but I will show you an easy tip how to bypass a Microsoft account. So for example, you can type Andre, click next, then type 1234, select sign in. Then you will see this message, oops, something went wrong. Literally, you now have an opportunity to use a local account. For the example, I will type user, click next. One more time, click on next. I recommend to uncheck all of these options. Scroll down a little bit, select accept. Finally, we are in Windows 11 in the latest version. Also, I recommend to move the mouse cursor to the upper left corner, click on player and select full screen. Then to get the best experience of using virtual machine, I recommend to click on player, navigate to manage and select install VMware tools. Click install, because even though if you select open in full screen, it still will not open it in full screen, but I will show you how to do this without any problem, how to gain the full screen. Now you need to open this folder, open it in full screen to make it more convenient, select this PC, here you will find this DVD drive, double click on it, select yes, in this window you need to click on next. Select the first option, 
click here and install. Be patient and take your time until it will install all important components. That's a good sign. Now click on finish and select yes, your virtual machine will restart. After all this process, you need to click on the rightmost button, navigate to display settings, and here you can select the resolution of your screen. For the example, I can select full HD resolution. I think it will be the best option for me. Click here and voila. Now we are in the full screen. Be sure to select keep changes. And of course, I will change this option to make icons more larger, 150%. That's good. Now you can try Windows 11 23H2. As I previously said, I will show you that this is exactly 23H2 version. Open it in full screen. Windows 11 Pro 23H2. As you can see here, we have Copilot Preview. So you can click on it and voila. So yep, this is how it works. This is how it looks. Now you can use Windows 11 using a virtual machine. If you want to shut down the power, I recommend to do the same process as on Windows 10 or Windows 11. That is, you just need to click here and shut down the power. Click shut down the power. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to install Windows 11 23H2 on an unsupported laptop.